Oh, look at that possession-based tackle. Jeez. Okay, Nangolin, chill. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Chowdhury card to review today. So, uh, this is the new gameplay objective card. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but he was a really, really good card to use for silver objectives, man. This card was an absolute monster to use there. So hopefully it's going to be the case with the improvements for this card because they've given him a five-star weak foot, which I'm very thankful for because the five-star weak foot is definitely what I would have given him as well uh, instead of the five-star skills because... Having a five-star weak foot in the CDM position where your main focus is just going to be to be a good defensive player is going to be awesome. So with Chowdhury, we're taking a look at someone who's five foot ten, medium high work rates, right footed, three star skills with a five-star weak foot. So love that he has that five-star weak foot. He actually has the dives into tackles trait. Maybe that's what made him so good as a silver player. Does a silver player have the same thing? Oh my god, it does. Yeah, maybe that's what it was, man. Because this, this card was crazy, bro. The silver card was absolutely nuts. Uh, the card is formatted perfectly for you to give him the Shadow Chemistry style because of the base card stats at 81 acceleration, 80 sprint speed. Obviously, with the Shadow Chemistry style, we will be boosting the defensive stats by a lot to put him in very good areas of the card. Look, 99 standing tackles, 99 sliding tackles, 96 interceptions to work with the 5'10 height, and he has a lean body type, guys, which is awesome, okay? Really, really cool. Base card stats for shooting. His shot power is high, but his finishing is low. So, you know, if you do get into a situation where you could potentially shoot with him, uh, his shot power is there for you to be able to maybe score. Uh, base card stats for passing is pretty good as well for a CDM. Don't really care too much about the curve being low for him being... Uh, a potentially good CDM. Uh, for dribbling stats, 84, 78, 81, 82, 77 with 83 composure is good dribbling stats to work with the lean body type with the pace setup the way that it is at 91 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. But not only that, guys, okay? Not only all of that, but this card also has 96 aggression. He also has 96 aggression, bro. 96 aggression with 84 strength and 88 for stamina, okay? This is, this is a really cool gameplay objective card, in my opinion. Gets a lot of links to a lot of players. Uh, English, Leicester City. There's so many cool things you can work with with that. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and try him out. We are going to be using the 41212. I don't want to use this one, though, because I don't want to mess that one up for future reviews. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to use him in a 41212. But the formation itself is just going to be wider, right? So, wide, wide balanced this will be wide this will be wide and then the instructions for the sake of the review we're only going to tell him to cover center right because we want to see if he actually pushes forward whenever given the opportunity to all that fun stuff so just going to go ahead and switch that over here we'll use ruben Neves on the right side for now why not he's a medium high but it's okay it's okay. Instructions, we'll just use uh, this for now, just attacking. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we'll get into a game, or we'll get into a couple of games, and uh, we'll see how he plays. I also have 50 player picks on this account as well, so be sure to uh, stay tuned for that one. Oh, dude, look at this thing's transitioning. That's actually nice. Dribbling on the ball. Not bad at all, either. Legrand switch with your five-star weak foot. Nice. I like it. Okay. Ooh, he turns immediately, eh? His running is really good, guys. His chase after is awesome. That's good, man. The chase after is good because of the lean body type and base dribbling stats for sure. Guys, he's really fast, man. I like how agile he is with the height that he has. It's awesome, to be honest. Look at how he goes into the center back area. Huh. Look at his dribbling. Just with the left stick. It's really good for a CDM, man. Look at that, man. You see how I'm just like swaying back and forth with him, but it's so agile? Okay, so I'm just an absolute monster. People think that this card's gonna get a foot birthday. If he does, he'll be nuts. Yeah, just testing out his physical presence here. Look at that. It's good, man. I like it. 
I, the reason why I think these are good gameplay objective, it's like I was saying in the um, pre-segment, was that I really liked his silver car when I do silver objectives with him. Like he's he's amazing. Like, it was him and um, I, I forgot what that guy's name is. It's like Riminota or something. It's pretty good. Try a nice little random long shot from there. Why not? Oh, he's, he's still complaining about it. Look at him. <laughs> nice. Able to win the ball in the air too. Gets up immediately. Can accelerate to the position. Yeah, what's really good is that if you get caught out of position with this card, he's really fast at going back into the right areas. Look, even defensive AI-wise, look at him inside the 18-yard box there to block that area. Sorry, I just wanted to involve him in the attack a little bit. It's not a player that you want to involve in the attack, but, you know, we're just stress testing him, so it's all good. Shot power. Aw, oh, good block. Look at that tackle with his weak foot. Oh. Okay, guys, so we are going to switch to this 4 one 2 one 2 again. But this time, we're just going to keep him on stay back while attacking and cut passing lane, right? So the cut passing lane instruction is pretty... It's a pretty big deal nowadays, right? We were trying him out and just like balance stuff and um, his defensive positioning was pretty decent to be fair. Like he definitely stays around the areas that he should. I think the cut pass lane is going to bring this car to another level for sure though. Let's see. Yeah, look at how he's positioned so far. Just from that attacking play right there, how he, he occupies that person's position. Like he doesn't let them attack that well. Obviously it, it hits a certain point for the midfielders where they just don't chase after the entire way, but... He does really well right there. It's that cut pass lane instruction. Like, that, that thing just makes such a huge difference for these guys. Like, I'm not really, like, huge on man mark. There we go. Harry Kane. Good stuff. Look at his positioning the whole time, man. Look at that. The whole time, dude. He doesn't let him go. He actually goes inside of the 18-yard box to block that area. Awesome. Good stuff. You kind of have to like uh, understand when to let go of the the sprints button to kind of like control your jockey a certain way. Yeah, manual goalkeeping. Had a feeling. Had a feeling. Oh, look at that possession-based tackle. Jeez. Okay, Nangolin, chill. Oh, that's good. I lost possession on the ball in a really bad place. And look at his positioning again. This is a really dope gameplay objective. Really, really dope, guys. You guys will definitely enjoy this card. I would, I would unlock him. Especially for the Premier League links, 100%, dude. What's cool about this Chowdhury card is that he could definitely play that center back position well too. Like obviously I'm using him as a CDM, which is where I think he belongs, but you know, if you want to switch him to the center back area, he'll actually defend really nicely. He has very good defensive awareness, man. Moves across the pitch nicely. All right guys, so final verdict on the foot birthday Chowdhury card. Uh, he is really good. You guys should definitely get him as a gameplay objective if you guys can, because I think he's actually very, very solid. So. This card is formatted perfectly with the Shadow Chemistry style because you give him the pace boost, right? You're giving him really, really good defensive stats, improving his defensive awareness with his medium-high work rates. You have the five-star weak foot to work with uh, the fact that you know, he is a defensive player that can block the ball with both of his feet. Uh, he has really good defensive animations. That freaking dives into tackles trait is so awesome to have for the CPU AI stuff, like the off-the-ball stuff when you're not really using these guys. Um, I think he's definitely a gameplay objective card that you guys should get. The links are so cool, man. Leicester City, uh, English links. If you guys are going to get Sterling in the future for that foot birthday, if you guys ever have the uh, money to, he's going to be a sick link to get just from that. Like, There's a lot of really cool stuff that you can work with if you get this Chowdhury card as a gameplay objective, right? So um, I thought he was really solid. Obviously, this is not a card that I would use uh, in the center mid position in like a 4-4-2 or something, like maybe in a 4-3-3 because of that cam in front of him. But with a card like this, playing him in the CDM position, the 4-2-3-1 or a 4-1-2-1-2, 
the way that I was as a lone center defensive mid, he's definitely going to play uh, that role really nicely with that cut pass lane instruction for sure. Like you definitely notice a huge difference when you actually give that to him. So uh, it's a really good card. You guys should definitely get it if you guys have the chance to. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.